Document four, you've got Joseph Chamberlain. He's the British industrialist, so he's a businessman. He's also a politician and a reformer. He wants things to change in Britain. And he's given a speech in 1888. Here's what he has to say. We have suffered much in this country from depression of trade. So things aren't going well economically in Britain. We know how many of our fellow subjects are at this moment unemployed. So lots of people out of work in Great Britain. Is there any man in his senses who believes that the crowded population of these islands, he's talking about Great Britain, could exist for a single day if we were to be cut adrift from the great dependencies which now look to us for protection and which are the natural markets for our trade? So he's talking about all of the colonies that Great Britain has, and Great Britain had probably more colonies than anybody. He's talking about, he says, look, if we cut those colonies loose and no longer have them, think, and because we rely on those guys for trade, for making money, those kinds of things, what would happen to all of our people who are already struggling if we even cut loose all of these basically overseas markets? What would happen to those people? If tomorrow it were possible, as some people apparently desire to reduce by the stroke of a pen the British Empire to the dimensions of the United Kingdom. So there's a movement in England from some people that say, look, we, we should not be an imperial nation and we should get rid of these colonies. We shouldn't enslave these people. And so he's saying, if we were able to somehow do this by simply signing a thing that says we're done with, be, with all these colonies and they can go be their own free countries again, half at least of our population would be starved. He's saying all of these people that are struggling now, it would get a lot worse and they would be out of work and they would not be able to buy food and, and half of our population would starve.